All right, guys. So today we're gonna be reacting to coffee and cake in North Rhine, Westphalia. The tea time in Germany. If I pronounce that wrong, guys, you have to forgive me because I don't know how to pronounce it. Westphalia, Westphalia, North Rhine, North Rhine or North Rhine, Westphalia. What's cooking? The tea time in Germany, man. I'm. This is my third day fasting. Is it third or fourth day, baby? Fourth. Fourth day fast. Fa no, he says my own. I started on Sunday. Well, technically it's my third day fasting. So, so I'm feeling. Thank you. So three and a half. So I'm feeling everything and everything that has a sugar. Look like a steak. Uh, everything is smelling good. So we're gonna push our we'll put ourselves in a huge pain, man. We're gonna really put ourselves on pain. Why? I don't know why. Some of you guys recommended this video in my new Discord. By the way, go to the comment section below and just go and be part of the family. Um, and just share videos that you want me to react. Also, I'm going to share my second channel just in case the YouTube goes crazy. Go go and just subscribe and just help with the video. Just put the video in the background. That way we can monetize it as well. But YouTube can go crazy. It can just turn left and right any second. So we have to read ready. In the meantime, guys, let's jump in. The orchard. Every year, the whole family gets together to help. Wow. Martin Turnis works at the bank. The orchards are his hobby. He has a hundred apple trees, all wow. bringing forth old varieties that you can't find in the supermarket. Only the apples that are used to make juice can be shaken from the tree, as it doesn't matter if they're bruised. The other ones are picked by hand. Huh. We have 16 different varieties. Typical of the Bergisches Land are the double and simple Luxemburger, the Kaiser Wilhelm, and the Bornapfel, not to forget the Bergische Schafsnase. Oh, wow. Every year, friends and family come to help with the harvest. <laughs> no one is too small to lend a hand. <laughs> oh, don't eat it, it's bitter. I mean, the orchard has been right? in the family for generations. But those are red. Oh. The trees were planted by my great grandfather when my father was small. He can still remember it. This means the trees from which we still profit are over 70 years old. Not about you, it's about your future. <laughs> Daughter Ida is one and a half. This is her first harvest. Yeah, good. Ow, um, there you go. Bitter. Eat it. Most of the apples are made into juice that is shared equally among the harvesters. Uli will go nice. with the pole. The fact, the fact that they I, take the the apples and they share between them, uh, that's, that's nice. I think I have more leverage from here. Martin's father-in-law has been helping with the harvest for years and knows the best way to get the apples from the tree. Hey, my guy. <laughs> the others don't have orchards of their own. All the more reason to help here. Yeah. Look at that, that's all about the family. The indigenous apple varieties are best adapted to the climate and are the most robust. Because they don't always look perfect, they disappeared from the shops, even though they have a more intense and very special flavor. Oh, why is that? While the rest of the family is tending to the harvest, Manuela <laughs> and her mother Maria are busy in the kitchen. Wow, look at that. Now we'll make something nice. Look at how that clean looks, man. Look at look at those potatoes. Those those are regular potatoes. Look at those carrots. Look at everything, man. For the harvesters. Yes. How many are there? Oh, I think 17, 18, 18 for lunch. Mm. A stew is usually made for the harvesters. Why? Something typically Burgish is being served this time too. The so-called carrot ungenin. Huh. This means that the potatoes, onions and carrots are all cooked in one pot. 
all mixed together. Ungenehm. Ungenehm, halt. Small variations are often made to the traditional recipe. Das ist nice. Okay, das ist nice. Das potato eat. I thought we might. I usually like the skin on my potato. I usually do like it. You clean it up very nice. You put the potato there. Uh, well, it's a different style, right? Try something different and add some ginger. Then the vegetarian option has a little more kick. Good idea. Something new for the old recipe. Zum alten Rezept. The pot is too big for the stove in the kitchen. Next door in the converted barn, there's still an old wood-fired stove. Wow. Something tasty for the harvesters. Oh, Onions smell. and ginger are heated in oil until they go milky. The carrots are added first as they take a little longer than the potatoes to cook. Yeah, it's true. Oh, you can smell it. Everything is thoroughly mixed together oh and stock God. is poured over. I'm sorry, guys, Ungenin because is not I have nothing in my stomach, so everything that looks foody, I just want to eat it, man. The soup nor stew. Oh, what is that? Carrot Ungenin has to have the right consistency and not be too soft. But you do have to mash it. It's like a potato oh. mash. You eat it with a fork, and whoever wants can add a sausage. Okay, I see what he says. So basically, they do that little stew, but then with the sausage, they add that now salty flavor. Very good. Look at those apples, beautiful. As soon as the first load of apples is harvested, Martin takes them straight to the press so the juice can be made. Juicy apples with a low wow. acidic content are perfect for producing juice. Look at that right there. Here, at the Weber family business, anyone can bring their apples, and they're made into juice. Huh. The press only works with untreated regional apples from the local fields and orchards. Oh, a couple of apples just jumped out. Oh, the yeah. mixture of wow. the different types gives the juice a unique taste. Juice this good can't be bought in any supermarket. So it's only if you want that type of you want that type of juice, you have to go to that part of Germany. How big was the harvest? Over three tons, plenty. Then we made a good estimate with 60 hundred weights. Martin reckons there will be around 1,700 bottles of apple juice this year. That's 100 bottles for the 17 harvest helpers. It's an above average harvest this year. The old trees sometimes need a year's break, so the second year is much better. A lot also depends on the blossom. Well, so basically, the older the tree, so the more you have to give some time to just Gave some apples, I guess. Either there was any frost, and if it rained in the summer. Everything was good this year, a good result. Manuela and Maria are preparing the dessert, cream of apple juice. Manuela is mixing sugar, vanilla powder and apple juice. Whilst in my life, I, I have heard something like that. I'm just trying to figure out how that's going to taste. Maria whisks the eggs. You put the eggs in the pot, and I'll go after. Now it's given a good mix. Mm. This is an old family recipe. At least, I found it in an old recipe book belonging to my mother-in-law, and it's delicious. The apple juice is added at the end, and everything is beaten into a froth. That's done here. Now it has to cook on a low flame until it gains a creamy consistency. See what's going on with that little creamy thingy, huh? Mm -hmm. 
lot of them, huh? <laughs> Look at Roscoe. Maybe he was leading the up. He's helping. When the weather allows, the family and the harvesters eat together out in the orchard. Beautiful tradition. You dear harvesters, food is ready. What a table and the sun shining. Great. This is fantastic. Super. This is fantastic. That's Huh. Man, you know what I noticed, I noticed about Germany? Everything is a sausage. <laughs> Everything is a sausage, bro. They know how to even. Who wants apple juice? Fresh from the press? Oh, look at that. Little Jimmy. Moments like this, when the whole family gets together, are rare, as not everyone lives in the Bergisches land. Oh, that's the creamy thingy. Whipped cream rounds the apple juice cream off perfectly. Oh. I have to make that. I have to make that. That looks weird, man, but... Oh, like you want to try it. That's beautiful. That's the drone over there. You see the chase? <laughs> Little Roscoe saying, like, give me a piece. Tomorrow, at the end of the harvest, there will be a Burgish coffee spread mm. with many different dishes and a very special coffee pot that Martin beautiful. still needs to get. The Bergisch coffee spread is a historic coffee time with all the trimmings. Everything you have to offer is laid out on the table. Martin's friend is a restaurant owner and has some of these rare coffee pots. Mm. Okay. Hello. Hi, Martin. Hi, Andreas. How are you? For the coffee spread, the Drüppelmine, the name for the tin pot, can't be missing. It got its name from the wife of the Kaiser, Wilhelmine. Germany, especially Germany, they always try. They all, so what I'm noticing with a lot of these videos is they're, they're a very modern society, but at the same time, they go way back with their traditions. Or Mina for short. Crazy, right? When the Mina is filled with ground coffee and the hot water is poured in, the tap opening is blocked and it begins to drip. Troppelmina. Just put the filter coffee in and turn the tap. Yes, we heat the metal with warm water first, then the water and coffee goes in. And then it keeps for a long time? Then it does keep for a long time. The heat of the metal keeps it warm. Just twist this open and back again to shut it. It's very practical. Erdinghausen lies in the Oberbergische Kreis and has 130 inhabitants. Martin's family has been living here since the end of the 18th century. Damn. So nice. Come on, sweetheart. Let's go look. Oh. Little chicken. The family still keeps some chickens. We'll throw it in to keep them busy. Oh, they give lettuce so and corn, huh? Mama. Now we'll go and see how many eggs there are. Hey. Manuela needs the eggs for dinner. She's making Fannenwatz, a type of potato pancake. This is husband, right? Martin grates the raw potatoes and wrings out the water. Mm. The fresh eggs and some onions are added. I'll measure out the oat flakes for you. The oats are there to soak up the rest of the moisture. The a spoonful of sour cream adds some flavor. What is this? Der Pfannenwatz wird herzhaft zubereitet, wurde aber in alter Zeit auch als Pfannenwatz is prepared as It's like it's a good mix, man. It's confusing. It's a confusing mix though. The oatmeal with the with the eggs and the little flour thingy is very confusing, folks. It's a savory meal, but also used to be eaten as a cake. It may sound odd, but sweet condiments like stewed apple were added, and it was eaten cold instead of cake. Huh. 
Manuela places the grated potatoes into a greased baking tray and lets them go brown and crispy in the 200 oh, degree oven. Oh, that makes sense now. Okay, so she had to put in the oven. I thought he was gonna just go in raw. Wow. Oh yes, good and firm. Wow, hold up. And crispy in the 200 degree oven. I had to teach these to my wife. Wow, that's crazy. Wow, look at that. That's a nice pastry, man. Low in carbs too. Very low. Oh yes, good and firm. Endive salad and Bergish sausage is served with the fun and vats. How many do you think we harvested? The truck was pretty full. I think we'll get 10 tons. You think? That would be great. There's a family, man. Hmm, I love that. And that looks very good. I'm gonna try it. The next morning, Martin and Olaf Schriever take a look at the orchard. Olaf is a pomologist. The apple expert knows the old varieties like no other. Up there I have a tree. I think it's a Jakob label, and I'd like your opinion on it. Also, because they're quite early. A lot of the fruit is already on the ground, and other orchards have already been harvesting. But that makes sense. It's quite typical for the Jakob label with a thick stem. Oh, it is quite thick, exactly. Yes, you can store this for two months. You can almost use it as a hand cream, it's so thick. Oh, look at the that apples beauty. that grow on Martin's great-grandfather's oh, orchard right, right. are all traditional indigenous varieties. Martin knows most, though not all of them, and he's mm. keen to find out exactly he what's what. They check them, but they don't take a bite. Like, like um, okay, this one's better. Okay, the ones that look like this, they look better. If I'm guessing... That he has been doing this for so many years that he doesn't need it to, right? But those red ones, they look nice. Die gleiche Sorte zu sein. Oh, wow. Now, there you go. I was about to say. Die Bergische Schafsnase the Bergische Schafsnase is a very old variety. This tree was planted around 1900, so it's the oldest of the young ones. The fruit is a yellow fruit and is a sweet apple that can be made into a stew or a compote. We found only seven of these trees here in Bergisches Land. It looks like a Schafsnase. Yes, exactly, especially this long shape. But this is bright red and the Bergische Schafsnase is very yellow. I love those places like that. Everybody knows each other, you know. Martin and his father-in-law, Uli, are making Apfelkaut, a kind of sweet jam that can't be missing from the Bergische coffee spread. Oh. The apples ones, are first shredded. The sweet Schaffsnase apple is perfectly suited for making Apfelkaut. Martin has kept a lot of the old machinery on this farm. Most of it belonged to his grandfather. The apple mulch is put into sacks so the juice can be extracted. Yeah, this itself is almost pure juice without having even been pressed. Yeah. Bro, look at, look at that little thingy here, the pressed thingy. Oh, my God. You have to give it to them, man. They keep things very nice. You see, this is what I'm talking about. I can guarantee that these people love the process of just doing the apple because it's not efficient. Even though some of the things that they do are is very efficient, but it's about the process. It's all about the process. You see how we can get the most juice out. <laughs> Lid on. Making Apfelkaut used to be a social event. The whole yeah. village would come together to make it after the harvest. Apfelkraut is a Bergish speciality from the days when there was no industrially produced sugar. 
The apples with high sugar content were intentionally grown, so you could have a natural sweetener in winter and put it on your bread and food. It keeps for a long time because it's pure sugar syrup. Hold it under. Thank you. Let's see how good this is. It's sweet. There's sugar in it. That's going to make good kraut. Hey, I want to see the kraut. How do you do the kraut? Cooking kraut has a long tradition here, yet few are still able to do it. Really? My great-great-grandfather would go to the farms with his horse and cart, collect the sweet apples and created a place where people could have their kraut cooked. Yeah, it's all about the kraut Oh, that's what you mean. The sweet juice cooks in an old copper pot for a few hours and becomes a thick mass that has to be stirred constantly if it's not to burn. Uli, how far along are you? A lot has cooked off. It looks good. Try it. There we go. That's the jelly thingy. Be careful, bro. Oh, wow. You have to see how it thickens. Do you want to try some? I'll try. Oh, so it's thickening. It's very good. So it's in liquid because it's burning, right? But as soon as you take it out, it becomes very thick. And that way they can you put it like a, on top of the bread and stuff like that. That's nice. Let's try getting this out of the pot. Yeah. Well, you can understand why they used to call it card grease. Oh, yeah, it because it's so black? Ah, because it's black, nice and fluid. That looks good. There's a lot left. As the sweet syrup cools in the glasses, it hardens. Oh. And then how, you, how does it look? Manuela and Maria are making two cakes for the coffee spread, an apple tart and sweet raisin bread. Yeah. Yes, the tasty apples from your orchard. Wow. Oh, yes, it's wonderful how many there are this year. They have a much better flavor than those you buy. Yeah. For the bread, Manuela adds the raisins to the yeast dough and kneads it until they're all mixed in. Oh, so that's how they make the raisin. Okay. I'm looking forward to the raisin bread. It's the highlight of the Burgers coffee spread. And we don't make it that often. Not often. And then baked in the old oven, that's something special. Okay, so here we go. So I'm guessing it's going to be fluffy. Maria is making mousse out of the apple pieces. For this, you need to make sure you have the right variety of apple. I like to use the Jakob Lebel apple for the tart, or the Boskop. They're nice and juicy and become creamy when you cook them, which makes them good for baking. Mm. Maria adds the apple compote to the yeast dough and some cinnamon for that extra flavor. Oh. The remain wow. I can taste that. I can taste that. Probably it's gonna it's gonna probably taste like an American apple apple pie. <sighs> oh my god. Stop. Stop. Painting dough is cut into strips. It wouldn't be a tart if you didn't have the strips for the top. No, she, right. she, right. she is right. The top is glazed with egg yolk, which will turn golden brown in the oven. Such a very good job, right? Take their time. The old village oven is in a barn a few houses away and is also called Bacchus. Keep Martin it is heating go. it up as this is where all the breads and cakes will be baked for the traditional oh. coffee spread. To go back, right? The oven belongs to Martin's family 
and has always been used by the whole village. In the old days, there were only open fires in the houses, and an oven would take up a lot of space and be a fire hazard. That was the main reason for having it outside the house. People were very scared of fires in straw-roofed houses. For the coffee spread, the villagers prepare their dough and pastries at home and then bring them to the backers to be baked. Here we have a raisin bread. Okay. How long does it need? 50 to 60 minutes. Okay, what temperature? 200 degrees. Here, the tart for backers. Good luck. Thank you. You need to poke it so it goes down a little. I'll see you later. Hi, I've made a potato bread with nuts. It needs around 45 minutes at 200. They all, oh, so they all, so basically they all come here and these are the guys just handling the oven. I think it's pretty cool. 120. Okay, it needs to be a bit hotter. Great. And then they organize it. Yeah, Martin, oh. Yes, Martin, we need to get some sort of order going. Yeah, the bread and everything that needs high heat, we need to get through that. Whatever doesn't need as long to cook can go to the back. So we'll take the first, and then that, and then that. That is all interesting. It needs to keep its heat over time. Hot first for the bread, and then a little cooler for the other things. Mm. So they, this is a little clock to keep the temperature. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. And that's the last one? Yes, that's the last. Next door, oh, the ladies attending to the preparations for the spread. There are no strict guidelines as to what needs to go oh on the my table. Goodness. Save Lasso sausages on top of German bread with onions. Wow. It means so much for them, man. Every can be served alongside sweet and the Bergisch Apfelkraut. That's the little... That's the sweet it looks thing. great, just as it should. With, with the Tröppelmina. Oh, with the coffee. The breads and cakes are ready. The idea is for all the food the host has under his roof to be served to spoil the guest. Why am I doing this myself? The Turner's family has invited all the harvesters and villagers to the barn. The Bergisch coffee spread is still an expression of the warm hospitality in the Bergisch's land. Mm. Mm. Bro, you're too timid, man. You're way too timid. The Bergisch coffee spread is brought to life by the people. When there's such a lively get-together and people enjoy themselves, it's great to have a Doppelmina here at the table. It creates such an atmosphere and all these good things that make up the spread. What a wonderful feeling. Wow. Amazing, huh? Amazing. Shout out to the channel. Shout out to the guy that, or the person that recommended this video to me, man. I mean, you, you knocked it out of the park. Oh man, I'm, I'm so hungry, man. I'm just watching this. I don't know. It looks good too. I might just try that, the one with the egg. They put um, what um, uh, what was it? Apple with the egg and something else, and it became very fluffy, like a nice, healthy. It looks healthy. A healthy dessert slash protein. My God, man. Probably a lot of people click here because of the crunch. But look at that, it's beautiful. My God. 
let me know what you guys think comment section below and let me know if you guys do some of these stuff man because this is this is culture folks this is this is beauty 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 meantime guys i'll see you in the next one